William E. McClellan joined the church in 1831 and was called as one of the original members of the Quorum of the Twelve four years later. Unfortunately, he was excommunicated from the church in 1838 due to his disagreements with church leaders just after the Kirtland financial difficulties in 1837, and he became hostile to both the church and Joseph Smith. Decades after his excommunication, anti-Mormon writer James T. Cobb contacted McClellan as part of his efforts to disprove the Book of Mormon. Yet the response Cobb received likely came as a bit of a shock to him. McClellan explained, When I thoroughly examine a subject and settle my mind, then higher evidence must be introduced before I change. I have set to my seal that the Book of Mormon is a true, divine record, and it will require more evidence than I have ever seen to ever shake me relative to its purity. Principal among the evidences McClellan appealed to was the testimony of the 11 formal Book of Mormon witnesses. He had known most of them personally, and it was their testimonies that converted him to the church in the first place. As he wrote, I became acquainted with all of the Smith family and the Whitmer family, and I heard all their testimonies, which agreed in the main points. I believed them then, and I believe them yet. McClellan wrote, When a man goes at the Book of Mormon, he touches the apple of my eye. He fights against truth, against purity, against light, against the purest or one of the truest, purest books on earth. I have more confidence in the Book of Mormon than any book of this wide earth. And it's not because I don't know its contents, for I have probably read it through 20 times. I have read it carefully through within a year and made many notes on it. It must be that a man does not love purity when he finds fault with the Book of Mormon. Thanks to the compellingly documented accounts of the witnesses' testimonies left behind by McClellan and many others, seekers today too can make the rational and spiritual choice to embrace the testimonies of the Book of Mormon witnesses and to enjoy and eternally cherish this fruit of God's tree of life. And now you know why.